Welcome my wonderful Canva designers. Today we are going to do a cinematic text effect. Ooh, I can't wait for this. Let's go. So the way I achieved this effect was creating like a mask type thing to animate across my screen. So I will show you what that kind of looks like before we go create one. So I'm going to change that to white so you can see it. Once you create one, you can like keep this around, duplicate it. You can uh, spin it around and use it at different angles if you want to, just however you want to do it. That's up to you. You're the creative geniuses. So let's go and create one from scratch. So the first thing I kind of want to do is I want to kind of get my text out and ready just because I want to see the size that I need to do. So I'm going to ungroup these so I can uh, get rid of these two right here. And I say, let's put him a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove him up in the corner for a minute. And then I am going to create my mask. So the first thing I'm going to need is, if you know me, it's going to be a black gradient rectangle. I'm going to need two of these. And I am going to duplicate that one, and I am going to flip it the other way, not horizontal, vertical, silly. And then what I want to do is I want to line them up. And you can put them closer if you want it to be a thinner line, brighter line, further away. That's up to you. You're the creative geniuses. You do it the way you want it. Make it yours and it beautiful. And the second thing you're going to need is squares. So I'm going to go in my elements. I'm going to get our trusty square over here. And I am going to turn it and try to line it up with this. And you can put it like right on the edge of this because this is so dark right here that it's black anyway. So what you want to do is get that and then you want to turn it black. And then what we'll do is so this is where your text come into play. You want to make sure that your square will cover completely your text. So you want it long enough to cover your text. So now I know that covers my text. I want to duplicate that. I want to put that on the other side. Like so. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be done. So I'm going to go over here just for ease. And put Mr. Michael. Move Mr. Michael. Move Mr. Michael over here. And then what I want to do is I want to group these together. So now that I have my mask the way I want it, I'm going to change Mr. Michael over here to white or whatever color you want to do. But we'll just do white because white is easy. I'm going to center Mr. Michael up here. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to change this, your background. Let's see. Make sure I'm hitting the back, black, the, the background, and changing that to black. So now what I want to do is I want to go up into position. I want to get my mask. Because it is grouped, always click from here and not from here to animate. The reason why is if you click here, it might only move one per part of your group. So you always want to go over here before you animate. That makes the whole group move. So now I'm going to press my animate button. I'm going to hold down my shift, hit create animation, hold down my shift key, and then I'm going to move it across like so until it disappears. That's a little sloppy. Let's put a little steady on it. And there you go. There's your reveal. Sam and I would like to thank you for stopping by our channel and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll come back for the next one. See you next time guys. Bye.